Researchers at Trevor Nichols Research Center are looking at new ways to deliver pheromones for mating disruption and pest control. Pheromone disruption causes male insects to become confused and unable to contact and mate with females, causing the offspring numbers to be reduced dramatically. One method being examined is a sprinkler system with an automatic timer. There's two ways you could do this. You could have a tank, a giant tank with a reservoir of just like it's a sprayer tank, and that could be fed into your irrigation system, which is one way people are doing it. For me, I wanted to have a system where you could just have a tiny, tiny amount of material and it would automatically feed into the tubes whenever you wanted it. So I, I have a reservoir system that sits down here and then the thing can automatically come on every night or every five nights or every eight nights, whatever I want to do, and puts a tiny, tiny amount of material in, like very inexpensive amount of material in. The problem with the material that I'm putting in here for growers, they could actually put it in a sprayer and spray it on except that it washes off with any rain and it only lasts two or three weeks. So they have to come back in and over and over and over again so it hasn't been well adopted even though it'd probably be the best way to deliver this stuff. So this way they'll have to do nothing. It's all automated. Good is also taking aim at the pests. The capsule has the pheromone reservoir inside it and then there's a string between the two caps. So when it hits the tree by the by boa, by spinning it stays in the tree. So the last couple of years we've been researching this, we get 100% of them staying in the tree and we get disruption equal to this. And it takes the growers less than 20 minutes to treat an acre instead of 100 minutes, which it takes to do this. So you save five times the cost. You can go up and see it, how it's tangled into the branches. The Trevor Nichols Research Center is vital to growers. Uh, absolutely 100% critical to my mating disruption research and to all the research I do for things that are in the preliminary stage. In fact, my colleagues around the country are incredibly jealous of me because I bring them out here to show what we have. And we actually have, you know, a good hundred acres here to put up a system like this and not worry about pests. We have all the pests we want, so we don't mind having a little wormy fruit. Uh, growers wouldn't like that very much. In fact, not at all. <laughs> Uh, so Trevor Nichols is actually a gem for doing that kind of work for me. Michigan State University Ag Bio Research, changing the face of science.